A very common question I get from athletes doing off-road tries or even runners doing trail running races is, do I need an off-road trail shoe? Short answer, no. But if you want to stick around and learn some of the benefits and maybe why you'd want to use one of the trail shoes, I'm going to talk about that right now. Hey, it's Eric with UWG Try, and I can tell you that after running eight different Xterra triathlon races in six different states from Michigan to Hawaii on varying terrain, you honestly do not need a trail running shoe. However, it can be really helpful, it can improve your times overall, there are lots of benefits, but if you're just starting out or you're not sure, you don't need one, uh, it's another piece of equipment you gotta buy, and not only that, but it can be a little bit difficult finding the right type of running shoe, as with the varying terrain of off-road, I found it more difficult than finding the road running shoe. But once you find the one that fits you right, uh, it can be a great advantage. So here's why. So three things to consider. Uh, number one is, even though it's an off-road triathlon, there are some paved sections in some courses. So take a look at how long of the course uh, that is. Also, even when it is off-road, there can be some very hard, dirt-packed, uh, wide trail sections that aren't single track, aren't um, muddy or rocky or anything. And so you could wear your road shoes on that as well. So really getting to know the course or courses you're doing and the terrain and what type of shoe would be best in that, in that terrain. So if there's just a small section of the course with difficult, you know, single track, uh, the road running shoes may still be better to wear on that because you've got most of the race on a, on a more hard packed uh, surface. Number two is take a look at the surfaces that you actually train on. Are you running from home and going through a park where it's crushed limestone, or again, where a road shoe would probably be fine? Um, or are you getting on some difficult single track, rocky areas? Uh, just take a look at your training is the bottom line here. And then are you doing that one day a week, two days a week, three or four? And I would say the more you're heading out of those trails, regardless of the surface, the more likely it is that you'd want a trail specific shoe. And if your terrain varies a lot, if you're in a climate where it's muddy one day and it could be you know, sort of soft ground and X, and there is some hard packed dirt, uh, that variability uh, bodes better to, uh, better to a trail shoe as well. Now we won't get into detail in this video, but there's four basic types of trail running shoes to sort of oversimplify it. Uh, and the main difference is gonna be with that outsole where you can really see more of a rugged teeth-like pattern um, on the shoe. And other aspects of it, it might have a rock plate or more sort of protection, uh, again, from hard rocks, roots, things like that that are, might bother your foot. The third thing to consider, back to the terrain, which is really what this video is about, is where is your race? So I live in Arizona. I have bought a hard surface shoe, lots of rocks, lots of hard packed dirt with a rock plate um, because I got sick of uh, running in my road shoes, which were fine for a while, but there'd be spots where I'd, I'd land and it would almost like bruise the bottom of my foot. I was running a lot of miles, four days a week on the trails as I was building up. And I finally said, you know what, this is happening too frequently. Um, and I got a, a rock sort of protective type shoe, but uh, going out to Hawaii where it was muddy and wet, uh, I didn't wear that shoe and uh, purchased another shoe um, that was more for the wet soft ground. But if you live in a climate where if I had already had that sort of varied terrain shoe, I would have used that for Hawaii. Um, and so again, thinking about what do you train on, how often, and what's your race like? And do you want a race specific shoe? Um, or are you okay with, you know, if you're just doing one race out in a difficult, different climate, are you just going to wear your standard shoe and be okay with the results? I can tell you when it's wet and sloppy conditions, your standard row shoe, you're just going to be slipping and sliding. And if you're okay with that, that's fine. But you don't want to get too frustrated because you're not going to have the grips that people wearing the um, trail specific shoes for wet conditions is going to have. And so also thinking about races, are you just going to do one race a year? Or are you going to do four or five or six? Um, and that can kind of depend on is it worth the investment um, in terms of money and in time and looking for that right trail shoe or multiple shoes if you, if you go that route. Um, like I said, I did the first six races uh, in my standard road shoe and some of the races were great, lots of hard packed dirt, some pavement even, and I did great. And other races I wasn't quite as fast as I wanted to be um, because a more specific trail shoe would have been beneficial, but I didn't absolutely need it. It was still an awesome experience. Um, and as I got more serious, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and buy uh, the trail shoes. The final thing to consider about the actual race course is how long is it? Uh, if the course is a 5K course, 
Um, perhaps you'd be more likely to stick with the road shoe or, or a, a, a trail shoe that's not really specific to the terrain you're racing on. Whereas if it's a 10K distance, um, and that's double the amount, um, I'd consider more the trail shoe in that sense. And some of, some of you trail runners out there, I mean, the race is 10 to 15 miles. And so I think the longer the race, the more I'd, I'd want to have a trail shoe um, for that added grip, protection, um, and support. Okay, so to sum up, you do not need a trail shoe to do off-road trail running. However, the more you race, the, the more you train, uh, and the more varied terrain you do, I guess that's multiple things I just said, um, you're gonna wanna consider a trail shoe, um, probably the all-around option, um, and as you get more specific and more uh, dedicated to the specific parts of the sport, if you're doing multiple terrains, you probably want multiple uh, trail shoes. But for starters, no trail shoe, then graduate to one uh, and really go from there. So I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, be great if you could put a comment below in terms of what works best for you um, in terms of a trail shoe and on the course, specific course that you, uh, you did would be fantastic. There will be a new video next week. And until then, I will see you on the trails um, of the bike sometimes. <clears throat> Uh, cool. <clears throat>